say to, like I mentioned earlier, once you determine what it is that you, the business that you want to start, read everything that you can get your hands on about how to run that business. Read everything that you can get your hands on about marketing and sales, because that's going to be the core. Obviously, if you can't bring in leads and sale, you won't have a business. But, and it doesn't have to happen overnight. Set a goal of a deadline of when you would like to make the transition and just work those things. I remember early on in, in my business and then in, when you're working, you can still obviously start it and have it on the side, but have a goal again of, of not keeping it that way, unless that's obviously what you want. Some people do just want a, a side business, but you know, don't let that stop you whenever you have spare time you know, if you can do things on your lunch break, do it on your lunch break. You can do things in the evening after work, do things in the evening, but don't, don't stop and don't let the fact that you still have that eight to five job, don't let that deter you from getting started and reaching your goals. So those are the specific, so, so I'm, I'm really curious, if you were not doing what you're doing, what business would you start tomorrow? What specific business would, would Tanya Thomas start tomorrow? Probably, and it would be close in line, but probably a, a consulting or coaching business and consult and coach on running a virtual team. Because I think that even a lot of corporations now are having remote employees. And I think there's, you know, there, there would be a need for that. I certainly think that's a, that's a growing industry. I mean, there's a, another podcast I was listening to that, that is a, a major company that's completely, you know, distributed workforce and, and every guest that he has on, he asks them, you know, in five years from now, what do you predict would be the percentage of the overall workforce in the U.S. that would actually be working remotely or working virtually? And it's amazing. I mean, they're, they're guessing everywhere from 20% to 70%. I mean, it's just a, amazing. But every one of them is, every one of the, the guests are predicting that there will be more people, more and more every, every year working you know, in a distributed fashion. And it's, it really is a global village. It's not just the U S it's, it's globally. And, and these exactly. workforces are, are uh, amazing. And with the tools that they have, whether it's communication tools or project management tools online, or just, you know, everything's in the cloud. It's amazing what you can accomplish, you know, from with a virtual team. So, I mean, I love that answer. And I, I think that that's very forward thinking, you know, the whole idea of, of coaching or consulting in the particular space that is, you know, dedicated to, you know, working remotely.